You're about to embark on a quest, but not just any quest. This is the holy grail of home decor, the kind of mission that separates the amateurs from the true connoisseurs. You're not just picking any old couch, you're choosing the blue sofa, the one that's going to be the centerpiece of your living room, the throne from which you'll binge watch, host, and yes, maybe even conquer your own little kingdom. This guide is your blueprint, your secret weapon, and by the end, you'll have the knowledge to make a choice that's not just good, but legendary. You might think you're just picking a color, but let me tell you something. Blue is a statement. It's the color of royalty, of calm seas and clear skies, but also of depth and mystery. You're not just buying a sofa, you're making a psychological move. Want a space that feels serene? Go for a lighter blue. Think of a soft washed out denim or a breezy sky right after dawn. But if you're looking to make an impact to say, this is where the action happens, you can't go wrong with a deep navy or a rich cobalt. These shades have weight. They ground the room and command attention without saying a word. Pro tip, consider the lighting in your room. Natural light will make a lighter blue sofa glow, giving the room an airy feel. But in a dimly lit space, a darker shade will create a moody, dramatic atmosphere like you're sitting in your own private cinema. Let's talk fabric because it's not just about how it looks, it's about how it feels. You're going to be spending a lot of time on the sofa, so you want something that's not only stylish, but also comfortable and durable. Velvet. You want luxury, you want to feel like you're sinking into a cloud every time you sit down. Velvet's your go-to. It's plush, it's rich, and it adds a whole other layer of sophistication to your space. But remember, velvet is high maintenance. It's like dating someone who's drop-dead gorgeous, but needs a lot of attention. Worth it, but you've got to be committed. Linen. On the other end of the spectrum, you've got linen. Easy, breezy, and cool to the touch. Linen's perfect for a more relaxed vibe, like you're chilling in a beach house, even if you're smack in the middle of the city. It's got that effortlessly stylish look, but it wrinkles. Oh, it wrinkles. But that's part of its charm. Performance fabric. Okay, so maybe you've got kids, pets, or you're just clumsy. You still want that blue sofa, but you need something that can take a beating. Enter performance fabrics. These bad boys are engineered to resist stains, spills, and all the chaos life throws at them. They might not have the same luxe feel as velvet or linen, but they'll stand the test of time. Pro tip, don't just think about how the fabric looks or feels. Think about how it's going to age. Velvet will crush beautifully over time, adding to its charm. Linen will soften and develop that lived-in look. Performance fabric? It'll look as good five years down the line as it does on day one. Now let's get into the shape of this beauty. You're not just picking a rectangle to throw into the middle of the room. The shape of your sofa is going to define the flow of your space, how you and your guests interact with it, and ultimately how the room feels. Chesterfield. You want drama, you want to feel like you're stepping into a classic film. Every time you walk into the room, go with a Chesterfield. Deep button tufting, rolled arms, and that unmistakable regal look. It's bold, it's luxurious, and it's timeless. But be warned, this sofa is the star of the show. Everything else in the room will revolve around it. Mid-century modern, sleek, low profile, and oh so cool. The mid-century modern sofa is for those who appreciate clean lines and a bit of retro flair. It's the kind of sofa that doesn't overpower a room, but enhances it, like the best supporting actor in a film. Pair it with some angled wooden legs and you're golden. Sectional, got a big family, or just love to sprawl out. The sectional is your best friend. It's versatile, practical, and perfect for those who want to maximize seating without sacrificing style. But remember, this isn't just a sofa, it's a commitment. You're dedicating a significant amount of space to this bad boy, so make sure it's the right call. Pro tip, consider your lifestyle when choosing the shape. If you entertain a lot, a sectional or a Chesterfield might be the way to go, offering plenty of seating. But if your living room is more of a chill zone for you to unwind, a mid-century modern piece might be just the ticket. All right, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Comfort. 
because what's the point of a sofa that looks great if it doesn't feel great? You're going to spend hours on this thing, watching movies, reading, maybe even napping, so you need to get the cushions right. Downfilled, you want luxury? Downfilled cushions are where it's at. They're soft, they're plush, and they give you that sink-in feeling, but they require fluffing, lots of fluffing. If you're the kind of person who likes things neat and tidy, these might not be for you. Foam, looking for something a bit more structured? Foam cushions are firmer and hold their shape better over time. They're less likely to sag and they offer more support, making them a great choice if you're using your sofa as much for sitting as for lounging. Hybrid, can't decide? Go hybrid. These cushions combine the best of both worlds, foam for structure and down for softness. They're like the Swiss Army knife of sofa cushions, versatile, tile, and reliable. Pro tip, test the cushions before you buy. Sit on them, lie down, get comfortable. Imagine spending an entire Sunday afternoon on the sofa. If it doesn't pass the comfort test, keep looking. Finally, let's talk placement. You've got the perfect blue sofa, now where do you put it? This isn't just about finding a spot where it fits, it's about making sure the sofa enhances the flow and function of your space. Against the wall, simple, classic, and effective. Placing your sofa against the wall maximizes floor space, making the room feel larger. It's also great if you've got a killer piece of art or a statement wall behind it. Your sofa won't steal the show, but it'll frame the space beautifully. Floating. Feeling bold? Float that sofa in the middle of the room. This works especially well in large open spaces where you want to create distinct zones. A floating sofa can act as a natural divider, defining the living area without the need for walls. Cornered, got a sectional. Tuck it into a corner. This creates a cozy, intimate space that's perfect for conversation or curling up with a book. Plus, it makes the most of your floor plan, leaving plenty of room for other furniture. Pro tip, don't forget about your sight lines. You want the sofa to be the centerpiece, but not block the flow of the room. Make sure you've got a clear path around it and that it doesn't obstruct views of windows, doors, or other key design elements. So here you are, ready to make a decision that's going to define your living space for years to come. This isn't just a sofa, it's an investment, a statement, and most importantly, it's where life happens. Choose wisely, and every time you sit down, you'll feel like you've made the right call. You've got this. Now go out there and find the blue sofa that's going to change your world. And remember, it's not just about the looks, it's about how it makes you feel. Comfort, style, and a little bit of that Tarantino edge. That's how you choose a sofa that's going to stand the test of time.